Hello everybody, welcome back. Thank you for joining me for another video. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna get started real quick here, but before I do that, I just wanna remind you guys, um, time is running out. If you are wanting to come and see Tammy Anderson and I in Charlotte, North Carolina, um, that is happening February 18th and 19th, and that is like two weeks away. So um, I'm super excited. And um, sorry, got a frog in my throat there. I'm super excited. Tammy's super excited. We're really excited to meet everyone who has signed up so far. Um, if you want more information on that, you can email us at fluidartescape at gmail.com. Okay. And that is coming up. So, um, and then now really quickly, I wanted to show you guys the dried results of my last piece. So I'm going to do it actually sideways because it's so big. Um, but I'm really, really, really happy with how it dried. Um, definitely has a lot of shimmer. I'm trying to get all the shimmer in there for you guys. The sides are nice and perfect. Um, so yeah. And like I mentioned, this was a, this was a 20 by 24 inch canvas and I'm proud and happy to say, um, it has sold, um, to a repeat client of mine. So thank you so much, um, for your business as usual. I'm extremely happy that this is going to be resined and shipped off to the U.S. to my client. Um, so thank you very much for your continued support. All right. I still haven't made it to Michael's, so I still don't have any more 16 by 20s or 18 by 24 inch canvases, but I'm going today. I'm going to go at some point today and get some more. So today I am working on another 20 by 24 inch and I'm actually not that mad about it because I actually really do um, enjoy this big canvas because it gives me more of a um, base to blow out my paints, more, more space to work with. And as you can see, the colors I am working on today are greens. So a lot of people were saying, do green next, do green, green, green. So we are going to go green, green, green. Um, all right, the base colors I am using today are going to be Titanium White by Amsterdam and Oxide Black by Amsterdam. And if you want to know how I mix my paints and the colored paints, you can check out video number 434. I will link it up here at the top. For those of you who are new, video 434 is a full tutorial on how I mix my paints with water and Floetrol and the different ratios and consistencies for different paint brands. All right, so I'm going to be using today Pearl Lime Green by Arteza. Then I have this new color I've never used before because I just got it. Emerald Green by Amsterdam. Then I have Pearl Olive Green by Arteza. Then I have Reflex Green by Amsterdam. So throwing in the neon there. And then of course I'm using Pearl Cream by Arteza. And then I've got Iridescent Green Yellow by Pebeo. And topping it off, the beautiful Thalo Green by Amsterdam. So those are my colors. Of course, I'm going to be using the flower hair dryer. Now, um, for those of you who are new watching, the Arteza brand paints, you can get a discount using code Canela10 on the Arteza US website and the UK website. So if you happen to be in those countries and you wanna order Arteza paints, you can save 10% off the Arteza, which are these three here using code Canela10. If you want to buy these amazing Loli Veffy bottles um, to store your paints in, you can go to the Loli Veffy website and you can save 10% off your Loli Veffy bottles using code Canela10. A lot of people ask me, oh, how long does the paint last in those bottles? Uh, years. Like I've had, you know, my, you know, shelving unit behind me here that's got all my bottles. I have paints that are Artist Loft and Liquitex Basics from almost four years ago when I started doing my art journey here. And obviously I don't use them anymore because I've gone up to higher quality paints, 
but I still have them. And once in a while, there is a color that piques my interest, like Prism Violet, for example, from Liquitex Basics, gorgeous purple color. I always loved it. And sometimes I use it and that bottle's been sitting there for like three years plus, and the paint is still perfectly fine. So this is why I love my Loli Vefi bottles. So if you want to order any, go to the website and you can save 10% off. All that information is listed in the description below with links and the discount codes. All right, I'm going to flood my canvas and I'll be right back. ready to go. I apologize for the glare behind me that it, it is a beautiful sunny day outside today and the sun is just peeking through the window there. Um, alrighty, so let's start with the uh, pearl lime green. Now I'm using seven colors here, but that's because I'm also uh, working with a much bigger canvas. Um, if I was working with a uh, 18 by 24, I'd, I'd probably stick to about six colors. If I was working on a 16 by 20, um, I'd probably be best sticking with five colors. So the smaller the canvas, the less colors you should use, in my opinion, because if you just if you're using a small canvas and you've got seven or eight colors, odds are a you're going to have way too much paint on your canvas and B, there's more possibility for it turning into a muddy mess um, because you just have way too much and you're blowing on such a small surface. So that is my little bit of advice. Um, I was really, 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 really contemplating putting gold in this because green and gold looks amazing. However, since I did all the other ones using just pearl cream, I kind of wanted to A, stick to that theme. And then also um, two of my colors that I'm putting down here kind of have a gold yellowy shimmer to them already. Um, for example, the um, pearl olive green. I don't know if you can see that, but it kind of has a little bit of gold look to it. And then of course the uh, iridescent green yellow by Pebeo here that I'm using has yellow in it, which is basically like gold. So that is why I did not put gold in this piece. All right, last color, phthalo green. There is a lot of paint on this canvas because I have been squeezing these bottles probably a little harder than I normally do. So is what it is though. All right, colors are down. Let's pop the bubbles. All right, bubbles popped. Got my hair dryer here and I think I'm gonna start here. Normally I start down here and then I end up having a problem when I get back to this spot. So I think I'm gonna start here and then maybe I can easily blow it coming around. So let's try that for a change, see what happens.
that worked out way better. Like, I mean, I still, I still have that little strip, but at least it's not down here and it makes it look funny. And I, I like this because it brought out more of the color down here into the negative space of the green. So I'm really happy with that. This was driving me nuts the entire time I was blowing out. And I was like, oh, this nub sticking out here is driving me crazy. So I was like, I can't wait to stop blowing to get rid of this thing. So I'm basically just going to skim my finger over the paint and try and just get rid of that because I definitely didn't like that. And I kind of caught the rest of it over here. So I'm going to go back a little bit. Okay. And then I'm going to bring this back. There we go. It just looked so bad. Oh, I love it. It's so, it's so cool. I was going to say cute, but our painting's really cute. Um, I'm going to blow a little bit of the green over here. Okay. Um, wow. See, this is the bonus about working on a bigger canvas. You have so much space and just, you can do so much more on a bigger canvas. Um, so yeah, I, I actually don't mind it at all. And just dabbing my finger along the side here to get the paint to come down the side. All right, perfect. Um, I don't think there's anything else I wanna do to this. I'm really happy with this. And I'm not like the biggest green fan. I don't hate green. Lucas loves green. I bet you he would love this piece. He doesn't get to have it though. <laughs> um, all right, I'm going to uh, fix up my edges and I'm going to bring you guys in for a close up. Be right back. All right, everybody. So before I show you guys the close up, don't forget to take your stick and you want to scrape these drips. All right, do all four sides. Come back 10 minutes later. Do it a second time and then a third time and you should be good to go. I am absolutely loving this piece. Um, and that reflex green by Amsterdam, that beautiful neon green, I'm so glad I put that in here because it really made this painting pop. And I actually like where I started blowing and I think I'm gonna do that more often in that spot. I think it worked out really well and it just kind of ties in to the way it moves up the canvas and it gave me more um, paint to play with um, down here, which is so much better. All right, let's check out the shimmer. All right, so I've got the flash on, but like I said, it is a sunny day. But you see here, this is what I'm talking about. Do you see the yellow in here? That's the Pebeo iridescent green yellow. And this is why I didn't want to put any gold in this because it looks like I put gold in it. It really does. So this is the reason why I didn't because I knew the iridescent gold yellow by Pebeo would act as the gold that I normally put in, which is the 24 karat by DecoArt. See, look at that. You would think I put 24 karat gold in here. And I didn't. So I'm really happy with how this turned out. Lots of shimmer. Definitely one of my favorites. And there you have it, everybody. Um, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. You can also share your thoughts on what colors you want to see next. Obviously, I've done blue. I've done purple. I've done green. I've done the multicolor rainbow. You know, what do you want to see next? I know people are going to say reds, yellows, orange, but let me know. And then the majority vote, maybe that's what I'll do next. So yeah, let me know in the comments below. Um, it is available for purchase. If anyone who is interested in purchasing this piece, you can email me at canelaseraco at gmail.com. Uh, everything is listed in the description below for all the information you need to know. Um, and that is it. And don't forget, if you want info on Charlotte, North Carolina, email Tammy and I at fluidartescape at gmail.com. That is it for me for now, everyone. Until next time, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Have a good night. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.